Lady Turquoise here. I am here to give you a recipe to use for your butternut squash or your sweet potatoes slash hams. All right, it is called a uh, herb baked butternut squash or everything else that I just, just told you. Anyways, first of all, you want to start with setting your stove at 375 or about that. All right, now that you've done that, you want to collect your herbs. Now, we will use a uh, garlic powder. Garlic powder. Now, there's no, no measurements, okay? So just collect your herbs. You want to get marital. Now, we are not talking about the one you smoke, you know? You know, it kind of sounds roughly the same. So, marjoram. And forgive me if I don't pronounce that right. All right. And then we want to get parsley. Parsley. All right. Okay. And then onion powder. Onion. Oops. I can't spell today. Onion powder. Onion powder. All right. And then in salt and pepper for seasoning, but we stay away from the salt. All right. Okay. So now that you've got that, you also need some beautiful olive oil, our best friend. Okay, so you take your, you take your yams, your yams or your, I uh, use potatoes. I, I use yams, yam today. Okay, you rinse it off, clean it off, do whatever you need to do. And then you chop it up into nice little somewhat even sizes, okay? All right. And then they say to split it with olive oil, but I, but this lady turquoise don't have splitters. So we use brush and olive oil, and you give it a nice little light brush. All right, can we uh, see we give it a brush? Yes, brush, 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 brush. All right, make sure you get the ball. Are you cutting them all? All right, good, fabulous. Okie dokie. Um, 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 we're painting. Painting the yams. Alrighty. Now, you'll take your herbs. Um, so we started with the, uh, the garlic powder. Garlic powder, go start to spritz. Go to shake it on. Shake it, 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 shake it. And then be as liberal as you want or as uh, not so liberal. Because uh, it's to your taste. And I, my family, and I like garlic. So we'll put a lot of garlic on it. Okay, okay. Um, I think we've got it up there. Then we go to our gym. And we open it up. Oh, that's the wrong side. I would have put it all on. I needed to put it on. Oof. Okay. And you sprinkle it on. Sprinkle, 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 Parsley, parsley, parsley. Oh, wrong one side again. Sprinkle it on. Are you ready? We sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. It's like snow and green flakes for these guys. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. All right, and then onion powder. All right, onion powder. Oh, 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 oh. That all came out relatively too fast. That one piece is going to be nothing but onion powder. And then salt and pepper. Now you stick it into your stove that's been preheated and you put it in there for about a half an hour. Give it a take, you know, you go by how soft it is. And when it's soft, then you know it's done. But don't forget, but every mm, 10 minutes or so, go in there and flip it around. <laughs> All right, thank you for tuning in to Miss Turquoise for your recipe of the day. Have a fabulous evening and enjoy your sweet potatoes.